What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome to JTAG and RJH Tutorials Episode 1. So this is kind of like a refresher on the JTAG tutorial series on my channel, uh, especially the first few episodes. I'm kind of re-going over the first few episodes because they are quite outdated now. They were made in about 2012. So um, yeah, they kind of need a bit of a refresh. So I'm not going to redo every single JTAG tutorial episode. I'm just going to redo specific ones um, and just kind of do an episodic series showing you guys exactly how to go from a, a console, a JTAG and a, or RJH console that has nothing on it to get to basically transform it into a console that is fully modded with lots of homebrew apps so that you can unlock DLC and play and and uh, download games and get online and mod with mod menus and RT tools and all that stuff and yeah basically just use it to its full capabilities so that is the purpose of this little tutorial series a kind of refresher and update on that so first of all um, as you can see here I have absolutely nothing on the console I've basically reset it all I've done is created a, an account a profile and you can see there's no games no nothing on here so it's just as if it was a retail console, but it is, it is RGH. So, and this, these tutorials will work for JTAGs, RGHs, and RJTAGs as well. So, you know, if you have any one of those exploits, um, anything that allows you to run homebrew apps basically on your console, this, these tutorials will work perfectly fine for you. So, first thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure you have a USB stick because we're going to be installing XCX Menu 1.2 in this video. XTX Menu 1.2, in my opinion, is the most important thing to get on the, on your console to begin with because it gives you a kind of back-end access to your file system of your 360. So, you know, it gives you access to the file system so that you can then use it to install other things in the future, like, you know, mob menus and games and various other things, other homebrew applications. Um, you can use XTX Menu to do that. So that's what you want to get on your console first of all. So what you want to do is go ahead and plug a USB stick into your Xbox 360, head to setting, uh, system, sorry, and then head to storage, and then head to USB. So press Y on it to go to options, and then press A to format it. So you want to make sure you format it, because that will format it in FAT32 format, uh, which is what you want, and it will also set up the correct file system on there as well. So once that's done, you want to just go ahead and unplug your USB stick and plug it into your computer because we're going to be installing XCX Menu on your computer. Okay, so I plugged in my USB stick. It's popped up here. You can see it right here. It doesn't have a label because it's um, because it's got uh, it's been formatted by the 360, but it's right here. So you go in here and you'll have this little text document called Name. Uh, what you want to do is head to Organize, Change Folder and Search Options, and go to View and then show hidden files, folders, and drives, and apply that. Once you do that, you should see that you have a content folder in here as well. So what you want to do is go into that content folder, and there should be nothing in there to begin with. Then what you want to do is download XCX Menu 1.2 from the download link in the description of this video. And then what you want to do is just right-click and extract it. Make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip, because you may not need it to extract XCX Menu 1.2, because it's a zip file. Um, but uh, any kind of future programs, a lot of homebrew apps are usually in WinRAR or 7-Zip archives. So you need to make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip installed for future um, tutorials and future programs that you want to install onto your console. So once you extract it, you'll just have this folder here with all zeros. Inside you'll have uh, code 9999 and then you'll have 0008 and then this file here which is XX menu itself. So to install it, what you want to do is just head to your USB stick, drag this folder into the content folder. It must be in the content folder. So drag that into the content folder and just wait for that to transfer uh, over to your USB. Okay, and that's it copied over. So once it's copied over, all you want to do is just unplug your USB stick and plug it back into your Xbox 360, back into your JTAG or RGH. And then from there, you want to just go to System on your console, and then go to Storage, and then go to your USB stick, and then Demos, you should have 204 megabytes showing up in here now, and if you press A, you'll have XCX Menu 1.2 Game Demo. Now, if it says Corrupted, then it means you don't have a modded console. Your Xbox is not JTAG'd 
or RGH'd. It needs to be either JTAG hack, hacked or RGH hacked or um, RJ tagged. You know, they're all similar. It, they ne it needs to be one of those hacks in order for it to show up as XCX menu 1.2 and not corrupted. So if it shows up as corrupted, I'm sorry, but you don't have a, a modded console. So, or you might have a flashed Xbox 360 which lets you play copied games, but that's not the same thing. So you need to make sure it's JTAGged or RGH hacked. Okay, so now that we've confirmed we have that installed, what we want to do is move it to the hard drive because you don't want to keep it on the USB because if you keep it on the USB, then you know, you'll be unplugging your USB for other things and it's, you know, then you won't be able to run XEX menu. So you want to copy it to your hard drive so that you can always access this program. So what you want to do is press A on it and select move or copy um, and you want to copy it or move it to the hard drive. So select the hard drive and it will move that over to the hard drive for you. Okay, and once it's done, that should be it. So just go and confirm, go to your hard drive and go to demos, make sure it's now showing up on your hard drive. And now that it is, you can head over to my games and XCX menu 1.2 should show up. So you can press A to launch it, give it a few seconds for it to appear. And there we go. So if you press right bumper, it should take you to your top drive, which for me is the USB zero, so it's the USB stick. And then you can basically change drives by pressing X and then selecting a different hard drive um, to view. You can of course go into folders, you can press B to back out of folders, you can press Y and that gives you the option to copy and, copy and paste, cut and paste, delete uh, files and folders and create folders as, as well. So that is why XX Menu is so useful because it now gives you full access to the file system of your Xbox 360 and it can be easily accessed in the My Games section. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video or found the information useful. Stay tuned for episode 2 which will be Dash Launch. Um, which is a very important homebrew app to install next, in my opinion. So we're going to be installing that one next. And yeah, stay tuned for the future tutorials for installing games and mod menus and DLC and all kinds of stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.